Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. This session is a continuation of the previous sessions, where in the previous session, we created some multiple Selenium tests and we have run them with the help of PyTest, but there was a problem in the previous session. That is, in this multiple tests, there were some duplicate steps, okay? In every multiple test, there were some duplicate steps, uh, which is common across multiple tests. So that's not a correct approach. We have to remove that duplicate steps from the individual multiple Selenium tests. So how to remove them? We have to move them into a single fixture, okay? Uh, to a single PyTest fixture, we have to move these duplicate steps so that we can remove the duplication of the steps across multiple Selenium tests in PyTest. So let's do that. So let's get started with this practical demonstration. For that, I'll switch to this PyCharm ID, uh, where you will see in this uh, sample Python file, you will see three tests here. And across these three multiple tests, we have, there is some duplicate steps. You see, this first three steps in every test method is same. Driver is equal to webdriver.com. Driver is equal to webdriver.com. Driver is equal to webdriver.com. Not only that, driver.maximize window, driver.maximize window, driver.maximize window. Even this one, driver.get of URL, get of same URL, get of same URL. These three steps are common, right? Across multiple steps. That means multiple test methods. So we have to remove this duplication. Okay. So instead of writing the steps again and again in every test method, if you have 100 test methods, 100 times you have to mention this uh, steps in a duplicate way. So that's not a correct approach. Rather, in the same Python file, I'm going to create a fixture. So def, I'll just name this fixture as setup and tear down, let's say. Setup and tear down fixture. And uh, here, put a colon. And I'll move these three steps here. I'll cut from here and paste it here. OK? Right. Let me copy paste again. Cut from here and paste it here. OK? After paste, remove. Remove from the individual test methods, okay? So here also remove the duplicate steps. Here also remove the duplicate steps. Once you remove them, you see you are getting some errors. You say driver is not recognized here because driver is created here in the fixture method. Then how can you access driver here? There is a way. That is here under this uh, fixture method, you just uh, create a global. You make this driver global. Okay, you see, once you make this uh, driver global in this fixture method, it will, can be accessed in all the test methods inside the same Python file. Okay, you see, everywhere the errors are gone after making this glo uh, driver global. Okay, then after that, driver is called webdriver.chrome, everything has come. So here, just uh, give one line, error will be gone. Here also, uh, global variable driver is undefined at the module level. That's okay, that's okay, not a problem. Here we are uh, defining, right, so not a problem. So then what else we can do? So we have removed the duplicate steps from the individual test methods and we have, we have moved into, we have to make this particular test method as a fixture. How to do that? At the right, right test, but right fixture, okay? Right fixture and provide circular brackets. That's it. So just write one line here. The errors, warnings will be gone. This is a fixture now. And now you have to copy this name of this fixture and paste it here in all the test methods. Okay, in all the test methods, you may uh, paste it. Now, this is a setup code only we have created so far. Uh, here we have duplicate tear down code also. So, for the tear down code to run after every test method, I have to use a yield keyword, yield keyword followed by this closer code that is driver.pitch. Now, press enter. Yes, that is done. Now, here also remove the driver.pitch because it is moved to the fixture fixture method. So duplication, duplicated steps we are removing from individual test methods, okay? After creating the fixture in this Python file. So yield keyword will separate the setup code from the tier down code as I already covered in the previous sessions, okay? So this setup code will run before every test method and this tier down code will run after the test method, each and every test method get executed. After every test method, this tier down code will run. So, and we have made the driver global and uh, it should work for all the test methods now. So this is what we have to do, guys. Uh, this is what we have written and we have to do now. We have now we can run this multiple test, uh, which doesn't have duplicated code across multiple test methods. So let's go to this terminal and uh, type cls command. It will clear the things and now type my test and press enter. That's it. Okay. It will run all the tests inside this uh, Python file under this project. Let's see whether all the three tests are running properly or not. If you open the browser, maximize the browser, open the application URL, and uh, it should run the test. And after that, it has to close the browser also. You see, one test is completed. And in this uh, in this session, we removed the duplication of steps, uh, steps across multiple 
test methods rather the common steps are moved to the fiction method okay and we made the driver global so that uh, driver can be accessed across the test methods in the same python file so let's see the second test is running uh, second or third uh, third one actually okay so everything got passed and without any problem the test code executed we were able to run the test in a proper way without the duplication of steps, uh, steps across multiple test methods in this session so that's all for this session and uh, there is still more that i need to cover as part of this uh, things uh, this session is not completed yet it started here getting started here where we started integrating selenium code with pytest here after that we have created multiple selenium tests then third step we removed the duplicate steps from this multiple selenium tests and we have run with the help of pytest now now there is few more things okay that i'm going to cover in the next session uh, what is other thing is like uh, we may not have only single python file we can have multiple python files having multiple tests in that case how to uh, work with that okay so in the next session i'm going to create some other uh, you know python files here only one python file is there test search similarly i'm going to create test login test register like that kind of uh, test i'm going to create in the next session okay now python files and test methods in our individual python files i'm going to create in the next session this series is going to continue so see you in the next session thank you bye bye